Good afternoon, traders, and welcome back to the Hot Stocks Outlook for February 1st, 2019. Hope you're all having an excellent week in the financial markets. And as always, we have a ton to cover. Uh, really continuing on with a lot of these markets, we have a bullish wave in equities, also the oil market doing very well. Uh, but taking a look here, we're going to look at Avalon, uh, Bay Communities there. Uh, IBM, GameStop, Southwest Airlines, and Xerox. So uh, what I really just want to focus on more today is how to use these indicators, really regardless of the individual market you're trading, uh, but also the market environment here. So uh, here in Avalon Bay, you see this is the daily price action. This is what all these bars represent is each a you know full trading day. Uh, and against that price data, you see that there's a black line and a blue line. Now, the black line is a regular, simple moving average, easy to calculate. And how we're utilizing it is really as a gauge of where market prices have already been in the past. But what we really want to pay attention to is this blue value on the chart. And so for that value to be plotted and calculated each and every day, Vantage Point is performing what's called intermarket analysis, and it's actually using a technology called neural networks, a type of artificial intelligence, to really generate predictive data. And it's doing that by looking at how Avalon Bay shares relationships with the dollar index, the S&P 500, other ETF groups, other property companies, other stocks that would not seem obvious that it shares a very important relationship with. So uh, when we see that blue value cross above that black value, it's essentially saying, look, the prediction of average prices is expected to be higher than where it's actually been in the past. And that would say, okay, well, the trend is up. Now, those neural networks are also utilized to generate some other predictive indicators you see on the chart here. Now, this bar at the bottom of the screen changes every day too. You'll see it in some future charts here, but it can be green or red and it's very short term, but what it's doing is it's looking ahead 48 hours. So when you get a you know green configuration here, it's looking at the next two trading days and anticipating short term strength or weakness in the market. So that's your very short term indicator. And then really to round this all out, you're given a predicted high and low. So really an intraday trading level that you can place your limit orders at, look to day trade from, uh, but that can guide you on how you manage that opportunity moving forward. So uh, the whole point here though is you understand look, the trend is up. We've seen so many markets that says, look, get bullish and use these levels, which we can see how accurate all of those predictions are against the actual market data that occurred. So you see here, great entry at the beginning of this trend. A few days later, you get another uh, area where you're hitting that predicted low. Uh, a lot of traders will just buy towards the predicted low as a day trader and target the predicted high. But you see, this is a great level to be adding to your position and making adjustments, but still sticking with the overall trend. As long as that blue line or that predicted moving average remains above the actual, the trend is still up. So you see this market up over 10%, $18 per share, you know, this is a, uh, you know, property management company, high yielding stock. If you can get a 10% move on a high yielding stock, if the trend continues, you know, really great investment opportunity there uh, as a trade or just, you know, getting long, but knowing to get long at the right time at the right price levels uh, and make those trade adjustments. So uh, there's Avalon Bay 10% move. Uh, here's IBM. So exact same thing. A lot of stocks saying, look, look towards the upside here. You're getting this predicted moving average is still above that actual moving average. You have a couple of these areas where that neural index will move down. You see, you get a little bit of sideways uh, action in the trend here. But still that blue line is saying, look, the trend is still up. So, you know, all throughout the technology sector, you've really seen numerous opportunities to, you know, be buying at predicted lows. So if there's some stocks you want to trade and follow, well, you have a guide every day that's saying, okay, well, if I go ahead and put a limit order and understand that, you know, the trend is up here, you're getting great entries intraday into this market. And you see almost immediately moving higher. And then this trend uh, really exploding higher eventually. So you see, you know, over the entirety of the move, you know, you're getting a really nice push. So if you trade options, if you're just trading the shares, this is a 19% move, $21 per share uh, in IBM here. Uh, but then if you're also a day trader, so if you want to add your position, you know, have a hundred shares long at 21 or something, but then adding a hundred shares at the predicted low here, here, and here along the way. And that's what can really make the difference and, and get you more than this even 19% move or $21 per share. Uh, even if you trade options there, uh, really nice opportunity to get long, buy some calls and make a lot of money over the past really few weeks here in January uh, as markets have moved up along with, you know, again, crude oil. So uh, here I do want to highlight though, why this software is so beneficial here. So here's uh, shares of GameStop and we see, 
you know, when a lot of bullishness comes in the S&P, you'll see pretty widespread bullishness. And you see here in GameStop, you get that blue line crossing above the black line, signaling a lot of strength from the neural index. Uh, and your predicted levels work great over this period of time too, where actually if you have a limit order, you're just gonna get filled on this trading day, immediately trading higher, neural n index never even gets bearish. But look how this forecast begins to change over time. Your neural index becomes bearish, uh, your uh, predicted highs and lows you see starting to move lower and lower and letting you know that, look, the trend is changing. Now look to go ahead and actually short the market. And, and you see just how important all of this is to understand that you know, there's a lot of areas in the market where you can go ahead and get long. And certainly Vantage Point was suggesting that, you know, even at the beginning of, uh, uh, you know, uh, January here, this is a good opportunity to go ahead and get long. The market moved up about 21%, but very quickly that environment can change. And you see over the past couple of weeks here, I've gotten a 30% decline, uh, but all of that really more recently, uh, really weeks after this forecast came through and said, don't get long here. Uh, this is a really dangerous spot to be. But aside from you know some of the big pharmaceutical companies, some of these areas like this, the markets are fairly bullish. So you know we come back to something like Southwest. And again, if you want to get long airlines, pretty straightforward here of saying, look, there's a lot of bullishness here in the long-term trend and the short-term neural index holding in that uh, green configuration there. But then as a shorter term trader, right, bring in those predicted levels to really add to this, really, you know, utilize the technology each and every day here to understand, yeah, you want to go ahead and get long the market back here. But, you know, here's a predicted low. You don't hit it the first day. You see the very next day, uh, uh, you know, gap down a little bit, immediately trading higher, hitting this predicted low here, hitting this predicted low here, uh, constantly hitting up against those predicted highs and constantly alerted to, look, the trend is up. You definitely don't want to short here look to go ahead and take those positions to the long side. So, uh, you know, all throughout the market, you know, it's not too hard to find some bullishness in some areas to go ahead and start, you know, trading to the long side, uh, aside from those things that I mentioned, like GameStop. And, and there's a few areas we've seen uh, that are having some trouble, but it's a 20% move to the upside here, uh, $9, almost $10 per share on a, you know, $50 stock. Uh, you can definitely load up on something like that by, you know, several hundred shares uh, and be doing quite well here uh, as that market moves higher. So really nice opportunities. You see just spread across a lot of different sectors here, uh, moving to Xerox, you know, same thing. So, you know, what happens in market environments like this is you get a lot of correlation, a lot of things moving up together. Uh, that's fine because you have a roadmap that's going to help you uh, know how to navigate that, how to add to your position along the way. Uh, here's shares of Xerox, cross over to the upside, neural index at a one. You know, you got these areas where, you know, you may run a little sideways as that neural index goes bearish, but you've got a lot of separation between this predicted moving average and the actual moving average. So when you're using that average as a guide of really saying, okay, well, where are prices likely to gravitate to, uh, you know, you should stay in line with that trend. And you see just a fantastic opportunity as this thing is exploding to the upside now. Uh, but this market up 37%. Um, you know, this is something where you can easily buy, you know, a thousand shares of something like this and you're up, you know, seven or eight grand, uh, you know, some option contracts as well is a really nice way to get that exposure to the long side of the market, but doing it when the price is appropriate and, and recognizing when those trend reversals come through uh, so that you get the best part of that move before things really start gapping and uh, getting away from you. So, you know, just really great opportunities uh, all spread throughout the markets. And, and you know, it's really about having a tool that's gonna help you manage not only the long-term when these trends reverse, but also the short-term, having that guide of saying, okay, here's where you can add to a position, here's where you should take some profit uh, and really get the most of really a fantastic trading opportunity uh, in the markets recently. So uh, have a great rest of the trading week. Once again, this has been our Hot Stocks Outlook for February 1st, 2019. Thanks again, best of luck, and bye for now.